Hey, answer me this. Uh, to do with voting and stuff as well. Our experience of libertarians here in New Zealand is a party called the ACT Party, um, mm. the, and and they are run by a guy called David Seymour, and their policies are pretty much far right policies. Um, and is it fair to say that a lot of, and I'm not necessarily even asking about you, but a lot of libertarians and a lot of libertarian ideology sit better on the right than the left? I mean, uh, David Seymour is uh, seems to want they 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 scream equality and they scream everyone should be the same under the law. But then the only things that David Seymour all, uh, puts into the media is based on race. Like, mm. because we have an indigenous people here in New Zealand, Māori people, and we have an agreement between the Crown and Māori, a treaty uh, back when the country started that says Māori get these rights and privileges and um, and the Crown has to provide X, Y, Z for this, this other party in this contract. Um, whereas what David Seymour does, and I talked about this last night, and I've talked about this a lot, is all he calls out for is equality when it comes to race. He never calls out equality when it comes to the other protected classes under the Human Rights Act, like age or disability or uh, religion. You know, he's fine to have um, male-only priests in the Catholic Church. I mean, that's discriminatory, but that's okay because that's religion. But when it comes to race, he really wants to see equality, and that's all he ever talks about. And so the position I have for him, and this is not necessarily about libertarians in general, although he wears the libertarian badge here in New Zealand, is the reason that comes across as sort of racially dividing or racist is it's not because he's wanting equality based on race, is that he all he ever talks and he only wants equality based on race. He doesn't want equality in any of the other protected classes. He only wants equality based on race. And that's all he ever talks about. And it just comes across as a dog whistle to his base, which end up being far right because that's what they want to hear. They want to hear, oh yeah, let's let's smash that minority sort of thing. So long-winded, but my experience of libertarian and politics is kind of a far right perspective because that's what we see here. Do libertarians sit across the board that you're experienced or do they sit more comfortably on the right than the left? You know, this is an eternal debate within um, American libertarian circles. Um, historically, it is true that um, American libertarians have had more of an affiliation with the right, but I would say that comes largely from, um, as I mentioned earlier, the rights now somewhat abandoned commitments to free markets and free trade. Right. Um, and because that's a really big deal for American libertarians, um, that has been, you know, one of the kind of things that glue American libertarians to the American right. At the same time, there's always been a huge amount that American libertarians have had in common with the left and the founding of the Libertarian Party. Um, one of the biggest um, driving forces of that was um, ending the draft, right? Which is the most classic lefty, you know, burn the draft card. Um, it's a bunch of hippies, you know, smoking, smoking pot and burning their draft cards. And that was a real part of the original libertarian movement as well. So there really are these kind of left roots and right roots. Um, you know, I think that American libertarians are experiencing something similar to what you just described. Uh, there's been kind of a, um, a change in leadership in the American Libertarian Party, and they are much more, uh, I would say they've sort of leaned more like trollish, um, much more edgelordy and uh, and much more Trumpy in ways that I don't like to see. Um, I don't think that means all libertarians in the U.S. or even all members of the Libertarian Party are like that, but the leadership is trending that way. Um, I think that that's actually, though, something that's bigger even than the libertarians in the world. I mean, we are seeing this everywhere, right? We have a rise around the world of populist right-wingery. Um, and that, that it, you know, we can see it um, and hopefully ebbing a little bit at this point, but, you know, Viktor Orban, Bolsonaro, you know, there's, mm -hmm. there's, there's all around the world, these sort of, um, this winning political formula, which is to be, um, to be nativist, to be um, kind of, uh, you know, fighting a culture war or like encouraging kind of culture war style grievances. Um, a certain amount of social conservatism, and um, that, for whatever reason, is some is a a mode for politicians who want to get elected that does seem to be um, showing pretty well right now. Um, mm. So it's not surprising to me actually that libertarians would be following that as well. And I don't think it's necessarily something intrinsic to libertarianism. I think it just might be kind of our political moment. Um, but I definitely deplore it. You know, I think Americans want a third thing because the two things we have suck 
Yeah, like, I, they yeah. have to want a third thing. And I, I think a true kind of moderate libertarianism has a lot to offer to Americans who do have these libertarian tendencies, right? I mean, this is the, you know, this is the nation that is the home of, you know, guys who just want to be left alone out on their farm with their guns to do to grow pot and get gay married like that's all i want for them you know and i so i do think there's a, you know, there is a libertarian thread in america and you'll forgive if i'm using uh, stereotypes here but i think in new zealand as well i think there's some of that energy in new zealand does that therefore mean that actually a true quote unquote libertarian party should be centrist I because think when, so. you, and when you use those examples, you were like, oh, you know, grow their pot. And I went, oh, that's lefty. You know, have their guns. Oh, that's from the right. Oh, you know, so that was like everything you were saying was like, although my stereotype is like that way, that way, that way, that way. Um, you know, what is it should a true libertarian party should actually you should see people joining it who are traditionally left and right, because if it applies just a freedom as the mantle, then that should attract people from all both sides. Yeah, so this is something that um, it's been kind of a meme in libertarian discourse for a long time, like libertarians are the true moderates. And I did not used to, I did not used to think that that was a good framing. Um, and that's partially because, you know, because of the way in the US, we do just have these two major parties, they have large moderate components, right? I mean, we just, because there are the two major parties, moderates have chosen one party or the other. And, you know, the center of gravity of our two parties does tend to be more moderate. Mm. But I think this change that I was describing earlier, in which both parties have moved away from what I see as this kind of very American consensus around respecting civil liberties, leaving people alone, letting people have private property. Um, I think that's left a gap in the middle. And so I do think at this point that the shape of that hole in the middle, the shape of that gap looks pretty libertarian to me. Not every independent is going to be a libertarian. Absolutely not. I mean, it is a specific political philosophy. It is a specific worldview. And some things that I want to do are absolutely radical and not centrist or not moderate. Yeah. You know, yeah. I want to legalize all drugs. That's not a moderate position <laughs> in the US. But I think there is something very libertarian about what I perceive to be the center of gravity in U.S. politics, and in particular, the underserved voter, the voter who's looking at the two major candidates out there and just saying, neither of these guys speaks to me at all.